Hello, everyone. Good morning. It's good to see everyone this morning. I'm excited to uh, be back with you all once again. Uh, as we first came back to uh, Bangkok this week, it uh, felt like coming home. But in reality right now, we're a little homeless. <laughs> um, so we're busy right now looking for um, our new place. Uh, but are so excited to, to be back in Thailand once again. Uh, so as we begin this morning, let's go to God in prayer. Our Father God, uh, we thank you for this time that we've come together. Uh, we thank you for your son, Jesus, uh, who gave himself up on the cross so that we can be set free from our sins, be given the Holy Spirit, and be united together as a family in you. I pray that you be with us in our time here together. That we spend this time encouraging one another. And that you penetrate our hearts, God, with your word. God, we pray that in all that we do, we can bring praise and glory to your name. We pray all this in the name of your son, Jesus. Amen. So the title of my lesson this morning is His Mission, Our Mission. And uh, throughout our lesson, I'll be sharing a little bit about our time back in the States. And our mission in Christ Jesus. Um, we were gone in the States. It was funny, uh, longer than Michelle and I hoped and expected. <laughs> we originally, I think, had our return tickets back for in March. But just, we had so many churches to visit, we uh, had to expend our time a little bit. <laughs> but when we first came back, and even this morning, several people, they said, wow, you came back so fast. So, but it was really good to be back in the States. I have a, a picture of some of the people we were able to see. Um, so we, uh, you, I'll show a little bit here, but uh, we were able to see just so many people that, that it was uh, good to visit with once again. It was really good to see Pi Rung. Um, and just spend time together with her. You know, we ate some of the best Thai food in the world in Denton, Texas. Um, we were able to see Ron and Rot Johnson. And uh, Ron and Rot Johnson were really good friends of my parents growing up in Albuquerque. And I remember when I first came to Thailand in AIM 10 years ago. Ron Johnson, he warned me, he said, as soon as you get to Thailand, he said, you better write a lesson on that airplane. <laughs> he said, wherever it is you go, always have a lesson ready. <laughs> he said, because as soon as you get there, they're going to be wanting you to preach, I can tell you. <laughs> and it's some of the best advice I ever got. <laughs> so on Wednesday night when we, when we got here, <laughs> they said, hey, are you, you're ready to teach tonight, aren't you? <laughs> and I said, oh, Gary, look. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and I was shocked, he said, what me? But, uh, but like Ron said, you know, I was ready. Um, so maybe you recognize a few other people too. There's Ginger that we were able to see that helped us with English camp last year. And while we were in Abilene, we were able to meet uh, one of the ACU interns that was with us this summer. Um, so also we were able to spend some time with uh, Larry and Pam Henderson. And uh, the ACU interns from the last two years. And it was so neat to see how uh, many of these interns, they never met each other actually. Uh, but it was awesome to see how just at first meeting, um, they were like sisters, they were like family. 
because they were united together in Christ's mission. And from their time here with you. Um, and that's really uh, what we are as the church. Um, as we talk about mission um, this morning, I want to talk about our mission as the church. You know, sometimes we think of, of missions and, and missionaries, but um, I want us to try and rethink these things a little today. So I have a map here uh, that shows a little about where we visited while we were back in the States. Uh, Google has some kind of new feature where you can track your travel history. So as we went back, um, we went back to, to visit with all the churches that helped us to come. And to, and to visit with some about uh, to share our plans for the future as well. But it was quite far, farther than we expected. Uh, really, we tried to visit every church that helped us, and, uh, and it was a bit exhausting, to be honest. Um, I have a comparison here of the map of Thailand. In miles, I think that we traveled, we, lo we lost kind of keeping track, it was something close to 9,000 miles. And I think that's something like 15,000 kilometers, maybe? Um, but it's enough time to think in Thailand to travel from Chiang Rai to Gurbi um, nine times, basically. Um, in the United States, if you travel from New York to California and back, you could do that two and a half times. In other words, it was far. We were living life on the road. Um, but it was awesome. We were excited to go and to share about what we had seen God do during our time here in Thailand. If you have your Bibles, uh, you can turn open to Acts chapter 14. As we see that Paul and Barnabas, they did this very same thing in verse 26. You see, they had gone out and they'd begun their missionary journey planning congregations. In Luke writes, it says, After there, they sailed back to Antioch, where they had been entrusted to the grace of God for the work they had now completed. And after they arrived, they gathered the church together, and they reported everything they had seen God do among them, and what he had opened the door for the faith of the Gentiles. So since they were sent out on a mission, um, they returned back to report about the work that they had seen and the new opportunities they saw God open up. And this is the very same thing that we did during our time back. Um, as we went back and visited with congregations, um, we were able to share with some universities also at uh, Sunset and Harding. Um, but talking about what we saw God do among you. you know, as we first went back in December, um, international news broke out about Syrian refugees. You know, and within a matter of a few weeks, you know, many Americans went from not really knowing um, and understanding or caring what a refugee is. You know, it was just something they never really thought about. But then very quickly became a very hot and sensitive subject. As Americans talked about, you know, whether or not they should open up, um, open up opportunity for Syrians to go. And so, so many Americans were outspokenly against it. 
You know, it was very, very sensitive subject. Especially in many of the areas that our church network is in. You know, and there are very few churches um, that have embraced ministering to refugees like this congregation has. Ensuring that gospel message that divides all social barriers. Uh, but we talked about how because of your church and the way that you embrace um, the refugees, and just helping where we could for our friends. How we got to see God take hold of not only them but also our church. Because that's what the mission is about. Um, as we talk about mission, we have to talk about God. Because Jesus was the very first missionary. Um, I, I love how it's described, we won't go there, but in Isaiah 59. Um, it's, Isaiah will describe how God looked and he was upset. He was, he, was so, he was so troubled by the lack of justice in the world. And, and how at the fullness of time, there was no one to go to teach righteousness. So the way he describes it, it's almost as if God decides, okay, I'm going to roll up my own sleeves. In English we say, um, if you want a job done, you, sometimes you've got to do it yourself. So God himself decides, I will go and live among humanity. In John chapter 1 and verse 14, John describes it in this way, he says, The word became flesh and took up residence among us. We see God moving in to the neighborhood. God says, I want humanity to understand who I am. He says, I want to unite them back unto me. He says, I want to destroy the work of Satan. The wages of sin. To give them eternal life and abundance. He says, in order to do it, I will go and live among them. We know he humbled himself and became a baby. You know, and he lived and died like one of us. You know, this is at the very core of our mission. Is giving God to those who don't have it. Just like Jesus did as he came here among us. You know, he, he dealt with the same things in his life that we dealt with. You know, in order to change our world, he understood he had to move in to the neighborhood. So he became like us in every way. As we were back in America, we realized um, pretty quickly that you know we weren't like normal Americans anymore. <laughs> there are some things that we would do and some things that we would say that just sometimes our, our friends or family just didn't understand. Just the other day we were talking and we talked about how it was really cold and we said the aircon is on really high. And the friends that we were talking with, they just kind of nodded and smiled. <laughs> but because uh, we called it the air conditioning aircon, in America we just say air conditioning. They had no idea what we were talking about when we said aircon. It sounds kind of like an airplane, it sounds like something in the sky or plane service or something. <laughs> um, I have a picture up here as well. <laughs> our last Sunday that we were with our sponsoring church in Tennessee. Um, this sweet old lady, she came to, to greet us. 
She's one of the oldest members of this congregation. Um, she's over, I think she's 92 years old. And um, really she had come to tell us several times during her time back, she would come up and say, I want you to know that I pray for you in the work in Thailand every day. Um, she's very, very sweet, um, elderly lady. So, so you'll see as Michelle as Michelle talks to her, Michelle uh, leaned down low uh, in front of her. Um, because she is um, an elder person, Michelle showing respect to her. <laughs> but this is not a normal thing for Americans to do. <laughs> um, this is, but she just did it instinctively because it's a part of who we are now. <laughs> and when I think about these things, I can't help but think of Jesus. You know, and God acting like us. And He did it so that we can understand better who God is. You know, He He went through things so that we can have we can have a grasp of what God is like. In the verse in John chapter 1, it says that the Word became flesh. Um, in English, we say that God became incarnate. He, he gained a body. And really, as we talk about our mission, that's a lot of what it is. It's, it's giving the gospel, the good news of Jesus, body, giving it form. Um, so that our gospel, it's not just something that we talk about. It's not just something that we say is happening. But we live it. The gospel becomes the very thing that we are. I look here in Luke chapter 9. In Luke chapter 9, in verse 23. As Jesus, Jesus noticed how large crowds were following him. He wanted to remind them that as you follow me, he says, I'm going to expect for you to become like me. He says, um, if anyone wants to come with me, he must deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. This is at the very core of what it means to be a disciple. You know, we embrace our own cross. Um, so that we can follow Jesus. And this is the process of being transformed to become more and more like Him. Um, in Philippians chapter 3, in verse, verse 10, Paul says, He says, My goal is to know Him, that's Christ and the power of his resurrection, and the fellowship of his sufferings, being conformed to his death, assuming that I will somehow reach the resurrection from among the dead. You see, Paul understood what Jesus was talking about. <laughs> because he knows that Jesus is wanting to change us. <laughs> but it's going to it's going to require sacrifice on our part. <laughs> he says, I want to know him. <laughs> and he says, I'm willing to suffer whatever it takes <laughs> to become <laughs> like him. Um, as we talk about missions in this world today, um, in Bible class, I'll share more about our future plans um, here in Thailand uh, for church planning and these things. Um, but um, as, as we've talked about these things with people, I can't help but wonder, are we really, are we really doing all that we can 
as Christians. เมื่อเราพูดถึงเรื่องของการประกาศเรื่องของพระกิตติคุณของพระเจ้าผมสงสัยผมถามตัวเองว่าเราทำเต็มที่แล้วหรือยัง When I think about our world, I think about man how advanced we've become. เราคิดถึงโลกนี้เรารู้สึกว่าเดี๋ยวนี้เต็มไปด้วยเทคโนโลยีเต็มไปด้วยสิ่งที่อำนวยความสะดวกมากมาย And I think about all the abilities that we have. ความสามารถต่างๆที่เพิ่มขึ้นมา Um, and I can't help but wonder, are we really, are we really putting His kingdom first? เราผมสงสัยเหลือเกินว่าเราได้ให้อาณาจักรของพระเจ้านั้นมาเป็นที่หนึ่งจริงๆหรือเปล่า Or sometimes we allow the stresses and just really our own lives to get in the way. หรือว่าเราบางครั้งเราให้ชีวิตของเราเราให้อุปสรรคต่างๆเข้ามาเหนี่ยวรั้งเราไว้ You know, while we're here in Bangkok, ในขณะที่เราอยู่ในกรุงเทพ um, You know, our apartment was just around the corner from here. ที่พักอาพาร์ตเมนต์ของเราก็อยู่ไม่ไกลจากตรงนี้ You know, and as I drank my morning coffee, I could see most of the city. เมื่อผมหายผมดื่มกาแฟผมก็สามารถที่จะมองเห็นเกือบทั้งเมืองได้ um, see, uh, ผมก็ชอบที่จะมองเห็นผู้คน um, and to be able to to see the people that God is leading to him ที่ที่จะมองเห็นคนเหล่านั้นที่จะมีโอกาสที่จะพูดเรื่องของพระเจ้ากับเขา as we were back in the states um, we traveled all these different places but when we our sponsoring church they had a house for us that we could live in uh, ในขณะที่เราเดินทางที่สันไมกาศเราก็เดินไปหลายเราเดินทางไปหลายที่แล้วก็ที่โบสถ์ก็มีบ้านที่จะให้เราพักอยู่อาศัยได้ and uh, this our sponsoring church is in Memphis Tennessee and Memphis is a pretty good sized city ในเมืองเมมฟิสนั้นก็เป็นเมืองที่ที่ขนาดใหญ่พอสมควร Maybe maybe it's bigger than Chiang Mai really ก็น่าจะใหญ่กว่าเชียงใหม่ But uh, but while we were there I think big city but our house was on like a farm <laughs> ในขณะที่เป็นเมืองใหญ่แบบนั้นที่ใหญ่กว่าเชียงใหม่แต่ว่าบ้านเราก็อยู่เหมือนกับเป็นเหมือนบ้านต่างจังหวัดบ้านฟาร์ม um, So it was just our our house and there was 40 acres of land ท,ที่บ้านของเรามีที่ดินกว้างขวางมากเลย As I looked outside there were no people at all but just a field มองออกไปก็ไม่มีผู้คนเลยมีแต่ทุ่งนา uh, But it was beautiful I would see the animals and we see the flowers ก็มองไปก็เห็นโขดสวยงามมากมีดอกไม้มีมีสัตว์ต่างๆ It reminded me of this passage here in Matthew ผมนึกถึงในหนังสือมัทธายครับ Um, as we as we think about our lives and sometimes the stresses and worries of today, what Jesus said. หลายครั้งชีวิตปัญหาความทุกข์ยากลำบากความกังวลกวายก็เข้ามาในชีวิตของเรา In verse 27, Jesus said, "Can any of you add a single cubic to his height by worrying? Or why do you worry about your clothes? It says, 'How do the wildflowers of the field grow? It says they do not labor or spin thread.'" ในมัทธายบทที่6ข้อ27ออกมาบอกว่าใครบ้างในพวกท่านที่กังวลแล้วต่ออายุตัวเองให้ยืนยาวออกไปอีกสักชั่วโมงหนึ่งได้แล้วทําไมท่านจึงกังวลเรื่องเครื่องนุ่งห่มจงดูว่าดอกไม้ในท้องทุ่งงอกงามขึ้นอย่างไรมันไม่ได้ลงแรงหรือปั่นได้ um, out, the เมื่อมองไปแล้วเห็นถึงสรรพสิ่งที่พระเจ้าได้ทรงสร้างความสวยงามของมัน You remind me of Jesus words of don't worry ผมคิดถึงว่าพระเยซูพูดว่าไม่ต้องกังวล You know it sounds kind of funny but he says Uh, he says, "Why worry? Flowers don't." <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, I think well, flowers can't think. <laughs> you know, but look how glorious they can be. Now, as we come back here to Thailand, there's a, a lot that we have hopes for. มีหลายๆอย่างที่เรากลับมาเมืองไทยแล้วความตั้งใจของเราความคาดหวังของเราผมก็ตื่นเต้นกับหลายๆเรื่อง But there's a lot of things too that can be stressful แต่ก็มีหลายๆเรื่องที่เดียวกันที่ที่ผมรู้สึกกังวลรู้สึกเครียด You know um, right now we're just trying to find our home and these kind of things ผมก็กำลังมองหาบ้านอยู่ You know um, if we're not easy in life sometimes we can become so focused on ourselves without realizing it หลายๆครั้งบางทีเราเราก็ถ้าเราไม่ระวังเราอาจจะมุ่งไปอยู่ที่ปัญหาหรือตัวของเราเองอย่างเดียว And Jesus goes on to say And he says, "But seek first His kingdom, the kingdom of God, and His righteousness, and all of these things will come to you." He says, "Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, because tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own." But don't s w e a า the k i n g d o ร of God and His righteousness, and the Lord will give you all of these things. He says, "Don't worry about tomorrow, because tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own." But don't worry about tomorrow. แต่ละวันก็มีความเดือดร้อนของมันพออยู่แล้ว He says seek first his kingdom พระเจ้าบอกว่าแสวงหาจากของพระเจ้าก่อน And I know that we know this verse ผมทราบครับว่าพวกเราท่องข้อนี้ได้รู้จักข้อนี้ดี You know we love singing the song เราเราร้องเพลงเกี่ยวกับเรื่องนี้บ่อย But I can't help but wonder you know do we really seek Christ's kingdom before our own แต่ผมสงสัยจริงๆว่าเราเป็นแบบนั้นจริงๆหรือเปล่าเราคิดแบบนั้นจริงๆหรือเปล่าเราทำแบบนั้นจริงๆ Are we really taking hold of all that we can to expand Christ's kingdom in this world? เราได้เราได้ใช้ทุกอย่างที่เรามีเพื่อที่จะขยายนะจากแผ่นดินของพระเจ้าจริงๆหรือเปล่า You know, and I think that we do a good job. ผมคิดว่าเราก็ทําได้ดีนะ But I don't think that really we dream big enough. 
แต่ว่าผมคิดว่าเราไม่ได้มีความฝันที่ใหญ่เพียงพอ Um, I've, I've said before, I think, but in my parents' hometown, in in the house that my parents live in Las Cruces, New Mexico, uh, in New Mexico, <laughs> um, they have the very first spaceport. Got me, got me. Spaceport. Not just been Tan Yan Oka, and I have some of my long rope. Yeah, you know, we have airports now for airplanes. Got got me. Sanam bin, some of the bin. But uh, Virgin Galactic, they plan to to send people into space. You know, there there used to be a time we would say when something was hard, we would say, "Oh, it's like rocket scientists, or it's like rocket science." But in the Church of Christ, man, I know a handful of rocket scientists. In in the Church of Christ, we have a handful of rocket scientists who are doing the work of the Church. You know, we can send people to the moon. You know we have talented lawyers and businessmen in the church. มีคนในคือจักที่เป็นนักกฎหมายเป็นมีคนที่มีอาชีพดีๆหลายหลายคนเลย We have people with great influence that are uh, politicians and movie stars. มีนักการเมืองมีดารานักแสดง You know and really as we come and we bring our heads together, there's a lot that we can accomplish. ที่จริงถ้าเราเอาเอาทุกคนมารวมกันมารวมความคิดกันเรามีสิ่งหลายหลายอย่างที่สามารถที่จะทําได้ But in reality, God isn't interested in what we can accomplish on our own. ที่จริงแล้ว As we look at the Bible, when we look at the Bible, it becomes very clear that God loves doing what humanity thinks is impossible. We can see very clearly that God loves doing what humanity thinks is impossible. We can see very clearly that God loves doing what humanity thinks is impossible. We can see very clearly that God loves doing what humanity thinks is impossible. We can see very clearly that God loves doing what humanity thinks is impossible. We can see very clearly that God loves doing what humanity thinks is impossible. We can see very clearly that God loves doing what humanity thinks is impossible. We can see very clearly that God loves doing what humanity thinks is impossible. We can see very clearly that God loves doing what humanity thinks is impossible. He says, "What a pity that we plan only the things that we can do by ourselves." แต่น่าเศร้าใจที่เราวางแผนที่จะทำแต่สิ่งที่เราทำเองได้เท่านั้น You know, and I and I read this verse and I think, man, you know, that cuts in. เมื่อผมอ่านข้อความนี้ผมรู้สึกว่าเออมันมันแทงใจผมเหลือเกิน You know, how often do we limit our thoughts? หลายครั้งเราจำกัดความคิดของเรา You know, or as we plan something, we we plan only what uh, we know we can do. You know, we say, oh, our budget's limited. We only have these people to get it done. You know, God says, I want you to dream big. He says, I want to shock the world. I want to shock you. You know, and he says, he says, I've chosen you, the church. He says to make known to all of the cosmos. เพื่อท The power of God. We see Paul talk about um, in Ephesians, or I'm sorry, in Philippians, where we just were. ในหนังสือที่ปอที่เราเพิ่งอ่านไปนั้น Sorry, in verse 21 in chapter 3, he says. Says that he, Jesus, he will transform the body of our humble conditions into the likeness of his glorious body by the power that enables him to subject everything to himself. Philip Boy, chapter three, verse twenty-one, says that God will change the body of our humble conditions into the likeness of the glorious body by the power that enables him to subject everything to himself. He says that God will change the body of our humble conditions into the likeness of the glorious body by the power that enables him to subject Jesus. And the power that we have back in us as a church is none other than the Holy Spirit. He says, "This is the same power I used to raise my son from the dead." He says, "This is what I'm. This is what I'm sending to work in your life." He says, "And it's going to completely transform us." Um, I have a picture here of our English Bible class from a few years ago. Um, I'm not sure when this is. Um, I can see there's uh, some brothers and sisters from New Zealand visiting. ผมไม่แน่ใจว่าเป็นอาทิตย์ไหนแต่ว่ามีพี่น้องจากนิวซีแลนด์มาด้วย But I have this picture. I didn't have much time, but I went to find a picture of our brother Randy. ผมก็ไม่ได้มีเวลามากแต่ผมอยากจะได้รูปของคุณแรนดี้นะครับ And if you can see on the bottom left corner there above Dennis. นี่คือคนทางขวามือเนี่ยครับที่ที่อยู่เหนือคุณเดนิสตรงนี้ And I want to talk a little bit about how God took hold of Randy. ผมอยากจะพูดถึงเรื่องของคุณแรนดี้สักหน่อย I don't know if many people remember him or not. ผมไม่รู้ว่าเราจำจำคุณแรนดี้ได้หรือเปล่า But while we were back in the states around Christmas. ในขณะที่เรากลับไปที่อเมริกาในช่วงคริสต์มาส
you know, Randy passed away. Randy เสียชีวิตครับ Um, you know, it's crazy how how short our lives can be. มันมันมันเป็นเรื่องที่แปลกประหลาดใจที่บางทีชีวิตมันสั้นเหลือเกิน You know, I thought about all the people in this church that it took to bring Randy back to Christ. ผมคิดถึงพวกเราหลายหลายคนที่มีส่วนในชีวิตของแรนดี้ที่ช่วยเขากลับตัวกลับใจมาหาพระเยซูคริสต์ I don't know if you remember, but about two summers ago, ประมาณสองปีที่แล้ว We had first finally met Randy. And you see, Dennis and B- and Bets, while they were in America one year, they met his wife. And um, Dennis and Bets got to meet the wife of his wife in America. At just some church, his wife came up and talked to Dennis. You know, and she told him about her husband that had basically ran off to Bangkok. So he talked about the husband of his wife. คือหนีเธอแล้วก็มาอยู่ที่กรุงเทพ and into alcoholism into sin แล้วก็มีชีวิตอยู่ในความบาปกับแอลกอฮอล์กับเหล้าทั้งหลาย and was and she was concerned about him she said I pray for him every day แล้วก็ตัวของพยาคุณแดนนี่ก็รู้สึกว่าเป็นห่วงอธิษฐานเผื่อเขาทุกวัน so when they came back you know they told uh, they told us the church แล้วก็เมื่อคุณเบสกับคุณคุณเดนิสกลับมาแล้วก็เล่าให้พวกเราฟังแล้วก็เล่าถึงเรื่องนี้ so and they said they had said you know maybe he's ready to repent and to come back ก็เราก็คิดว่าเออเขาอาจจะอยากที่จะกลับตัวกับใจอยากจะเริ่มต้นใหม่ you know and to try and clean up his life แล้วก็อยากที่จะกลับมามีชีวิตที่ดีเหมือนเดิม so there are a few times that we thought oh you know he had he had fallen really low and he said okay you know I want to come to church next Sunday and and talk with you guys เราก็พยายามที่จะเข้าไปติดต่อกับเขาเขาก็บอกโอเคเดี๋ยวจะมานะเดี๋ยวจะมาโบสเดี๋ยวจะกลับมาที่โบส but he never did You know, and um, and we were always ready to go and meet him wherever it was. But then finally, the time came. We 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 Ensnared by alcohol. He was tied to the bed by the liquid of alcohol. We we decided, you know, we needed to sober him up. We knew that we needed to help him to calm down. So Nung and I went to his apartment. And 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 he said, "Okay, on Sunday, um, I'll come to church." But he didn't make it. 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 But he didn't make So I went on the BTS to go to his apartment. You know, to bring him here, we decided um, as a church, you know, let's sober him up here at the church building. Um, and I guess it was most, it was easiest for me to go. So I took him in from Rajateri Station to walking just here. You know, it took over an hour. Just because he was so drunk. Um, it was it was so ridiculous. Um, but he stayed here, you know, and B and some of the young men, you know, they decided to stay up all night with him. You know, while he shook the habit. You know, when I first look at Randy, when I think about Randy, to be honest, I don't think of a good person. เมื่อผมคิดถึงแดนดี้ครับด้วยความสัตย์จริงผมไม่ได้คิดถึงคนดีดีเลย You know at the time we were stressed too because the Aggies for Christ were here with us เราเราก็รู้สึกเหนื่อยรู้สึกเครียดกันหลายอย่างเพราะมีกลุ่มของแอกกี้ที่มาอยู่กับเรา You know they're mainly girls and we're like ah we don't know about this guy being here around them เราก็กังวลเพราะว่าเขาเด็กแอกกี้ก็เป็นผู้หญิงหมดเลยแล้วก็คนแบบนี้มาอยู่มันจะเหมาะหรอ But you know he got cleaned up แต่เขาก็ You know, in the states, he was able to go through rehabilitation. He got plugged in with the church. 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 He got
ในการฝึกตัวเอง And as many of you know, every Wednesday night, every Wednesday night, he would join our Bible studies on Skype. เขาได้รับการฟื้นฟูการบำบัดแล้วหลังจากนั้นทุกๆวันพุธครับเขาก็จะเข้ามาในชั้นเรียนพุธทาง Skype. You know, I think in California, you have to wake up at something like 5 a.m. to join our Wednesday night Bible studies. จากแคลิฟอร์เนียเขาจะต้องตื่นประมาณตีห้าเพื่อที่จะเข้ามา Um, and I want to share this because I was amazed that uh, when he passed away, you know, we sent flowers to his family. But on his Facebook, I was amazed at the comments that I saw. As people talked about Randy on his on his timeline, I saw people who were talking about Randy on Randy's timeline. You know, they didn't describe the Randy that I knew here in Bangkok. เขาไม่ได้พูดถึงชีวิตของแรนดี้แบบที่ผมรู้จักในกรุงเทพเลย You know, they saw him as a transformed person. เขาเห็นชีวิตของแรนดี้เปลี่ยนไปอย่างมาก You know, they said thank you so much for his example. ผมเขาบอกว่าขอบคุณมากสำหรับแบบอย่างของคุณแรนดี้ You know, they said here's someone that always put God first. คนที่เอาพระเจ้ามาเป็นที่หนึ่งเสมอ He said they would talk about this guy. He talks about waking up early in the morning to join Bible studies across the world. คนที่ยินดีที่จะตื่นเช้าเพื่อที่จะเช่าร่วมชั้นเรียนพระคัมภีร์ And he knew how much he needed Jesus in his life. และเขารู้ว่าเขาจะเป็นจะต้องพึ่งพระเยซูมากขนาดไหนในชีวิตของเขา You know, people after people thanking him for his example. คนแล้วคนเล่าที่เข้ามาขอบคุณสำหรับแบบอย่างในชีวิตของเขา And I think how can this be? ผมผมรู้สึกแปลกใจว่าเป็นไปได้ยังไง So that's what we're talking about here, church. นี่คือสิ่งที่พวกเราพูดถึงครับ A total transformation. การเปลี่ยนแปลงสิ้นเชิง You know, God doing the impossible. พระเจ้าทำสิ่งที่เป็นไปไม่ได้ As we talk about the mission of God, เมื่อเราพูดถึงพันธกิจของพระเจ้า We know that Jesus, um, Jesus, he was the first missionary. พระเยซูคริสต์เป็น missionary คนแรก Sometimes in Thailand, I think, you know, we like to think of Foreigners as missionaries when they come. เมื่อเราพูดถึงคำว่า missionary เราก็นึกถึงชาวต่างชาติที่เข้ามา But really, as we read the Bible, we see that every Christian is a missionary. แต่ในความเป็นจริงแล้วพระคัมภีร์พูดถึงคริสเตียนทุกๆคนเป็น missionary. Um, I love the Great Commission in the Gospel of John. ในผมชอบข้อมีในหนังสือพระกิติคุณยอนครับ In John chapter 20 in verse 21. ในในหนังสือยอนบทที่20ข้อที่21. You know, Jesus just says it very simply. พระเยซูพูดแบบเรียบง่ายมาก He says. Just as the Father has sent me, I also send you. พระบิดาได้ส่งเรามาฉันใดเราก็ส่งพวกท่านไปฉันนั้น He says I'm sending you. เราส่งพวกท่านไป He says I'm sending you to be Jesus to your friends. เราส่งพวกท่านไปเป็นพระเยซูสำหรับเพื่อนของท่าน He says I'm sending you to be Jesus to your coworkers. ส่งท่านไปเป็นพระเยซูสำหรับเพื่อนร่วมงานของท่าน I'm sending you to be Jesus to your families that don't yet know Him. ส่งพวกท่านไปเป็นพระเยซูสำหรับครอบครัวที่ยังไม่รู้จักพระเยซู God has chosen us to bear that gospel. พระเจ้าได้เลือกเราที่จะแบกพระกิตติคุณของพระองค์ Sometimes you know we get distracted by the things in this world. หลายครั้งเราถูกละเลยความสนใจของเราไปโดยสิ่งที่อยู่รอบข้างเรา Um, I hope as a I hope as a church we can continue to dream big dreams together. ผมหวังว่าพืชจากของเราพวกเราทั้งหลายจะมีฝันที่ใหญ่ When the world looks and says, here's a hopeless situation. ในขณะที่โลกพยายามที่จะบอกเราว่าเออดูสถานการณ์มันดูหมดหวัง As they look at people and say, you know, there's no hope for change for them. เมื่อเรามองไปในชุดของเขาเราก็รู้สึกว่าโอ้ไม่มีทางหรอกที่จะเปลี่ยนแปลงชุดของคนนั้นได้ That we expect God to do the impossible. ให้เราคาดหวังพระเจ้าที่จะทําในสิ่งที่เป็นไปไม่ได้ And we embrace the mission that He has given us. ให้เราพร้อมที่จะตอบรับตอบพันธกิจที่พระเจ้ามอบให้กับเรา May everything come together in your life. ให้ทุกสิ่งนั้นเข้ามาในชุดของเรา As you seek first His kingdom and His righteousness. ในขณะที่เรากำลังแสวงหาความชอบธรรมและจากของพระองค์ก่อน And as we embrace our own cross each day. เนี่ยที่เราแบกกางเขนของเรา May we be transformed to be more like Jesus. ให้เราได้เปลี่ยนชุดของเราเป็นเหมือนพระเยซูคริสต์มากขึ้นทุกวัน God bless. ขอบใจทุกคนครับ